Hello, in this video, we are going to discuss effect size. For correlations, the R value is used to determine the effect size. Also, you can, if you run a regression, you can have an R squared value, which is the variance of the dependent variable due to the independent variable. This can also be translated into a percentage, which I'll show you shortly. The Pearson's R correlation coefficient is used in, uh, for Pearson's correlations and the Cohen's conventions will determine are used to determine if it's a small medium also sometimes called moderate or a large effect 0 0.10 in that range would be a small effect size 0 0.30 medium or moderate and 0.5 a large effect size for t-test the Cohen's D is used 0.2 small 0.5 a medium or moderate effect and 0.8 is large and then ANOVA has depending on um, the values that you're looking at as a, a variety of, uh, of different effect sizes. What's important as, is that you understand which statistic you, which uh, statistical procedure you're using and which statistics you want to use to determine effect size. Here's a practical example. In this example, we are looking at a correlation between training scores and production scores. The alpha level needs to be a point uh, 0 0.05 and we determined that at a 0 0.032 it is less than that therefore we reject the null hypothesis. Our R value is 0.464 that's our effect size. In this case it's a moderate to large effect based on Cohen's conventions and when we square that value we are at 0.215 so therefore 21.5% of the variance is explained by the independent variable. Put another way for our example here, 21.5% of the variance in performance can be explained by the training program that we are using. The effect size statistic is very valuable and has considerable practical value as well.